Uh, I'm Ross Bicarvalo. I'm from Swindon. I'm working on South Marston side and uh, I'm a shop steward for GMB. How does it feel knowing that there's a difference in how much workers, uh, your fellow workers, are paid compared to you are? It's, the thing is that like, it's very bad to know that my fellow workers have been treated like this. And the secondly, what happens is whenever you work down there, you're working with the permanent staff and they are mu paid much more higher than you for the same amount of work what we do. And are you doing the same kind of jobs or even exactly the same jobs as those that are getting paid differently to you? Uh, yeah, we are doing the same kind of job. Everybody is doing the same kind of job, but it depends on the departments where you work. But still, we have been paid like less amount than the company people. And I, as I understand it, you have to, you're required to, to, to go in to, to, to work on a daily basis, but you may be told that, you can, that you're only required for about seven hours a week. Just explain how that works and how it feels to, to know that the company can turn around and say, oh, we don't need you today after all. Okay, the thing is that what happens over there is they give you a call saying that, okay, fine, you're working for so-and-so days, or they give you the rotas saying that, okay, you're going to work for a week. But when you turn up down there, they say that you don't have any work, you have to go home. And what happens is you, they don't pay you for your transport to get you down there. Recently, a case took place where 16 people were sent home without any transport money, not even after the briefing, you can say, they were sent home without even given the transport money, nor they were like working for four hours, I can say. And how does it feel not being sure how much work you're going to be doing in any one week? What's the impact of that for you? Uh, there's a lot of impact on it because what happens is when you don't have the amount in your bank where you have to think about your family, where you have to pay your bills, you have to get some of my friends, they have their kids and all, they have to put the food on the table and some of them they have the mortgages and everything so you have to see each and everything because it's very frustrated when you don't have any enough money down in your bank because whenever you, if you want to go for a mortgage or anything the bank sees your statement how you do your investments and everything how you get your money but if you don't have a good good statements in your bank then definitely you're not going to get anything and thinking about the mortgage then it's too far with this amount the way they pay us like the less than the company work of the same work. What do you think about, uh, this, is, this comes originally from European law, which talks in the law very much about fairness. What does that make you feel when you, when, when you hear that the whole point of this is, is, is fairness? I don't think so, it's fair. I don't think so. Because the thing is that if it was fair, then as the law says that uh, a person is going to be on a permanent contract or will be paid equally after 12 weeks but uh, it's been for me like two and a half years working in the company and I was not paid equally as the company worker. What do you want to see happen and now that you've been able to raise this with MEPs and uh, out here in the European Parliament do you feel hopeful that something might now happen? Yeah I, I, my fingers are crossed I can say because uh, the way we have been treated down in our warehouse where we work, it's very bad. Because what happens down there, even if you can't take your loo breaks, because the managers, they try to keep you monitored around every now and then. And what happens is, if you, even if you go down for a break, they keep a track on you for how long you were on a break, whether you went down to the loo or nothing else. The thing is that what I'm saying is, uh, whatever's happening right now, it has to stop because we have been exploited too much. An agency worker has been exploited too much and this has to stop because every day the lives are changing and we are going to the future. So if this continues, then I don't think so there's gonna be any hopes down in the future. So whatever it happens, it has to stop right away.